You're on your deathbed breathing your final breath. And shaitan comes to you while you are preparing yourself to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to say, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan abdu wa rasoolu to be from amongst us that the final word is the shahada. Shaitan will come to you and he'll say to you, in a form of what? He'll come to you in a form of your mother that passed away. In a form of your father that passed away. In a form of someone, maybe even an imam or a sheikh that you respected, who'll come in that form and who'll say to you, son, daughter, brother, student, I died on Islam and I found to be Islam, the false religion. That's why you're on your deathbed. Imagine, imagine the pressure. Imagine the pressure that you'll encounter during that moment. That you are breathing your final breaths and about to die to meet Allah Azza wa Jal. And the last thing that you want on your tongue is Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadan abdu wa rasoolah. And here you are, you are confronted and encountered by someone who claims to be your mother and father and saying to you, do not die on Islam. We died on Islam when we found Islam not to be the real religion or the true religion. Allahu Akbar. Big test. Big test. If you are not strong, if you're not empowered with Iman, if you are not from amongst those, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, You thabbit Allah alladheena amanu bil qawli thabbit fil hayat al-dunya wal akhirah. Allah azza wa jal empowers those who believe in Allah azza wa jal and do righteous actions in this dunya and the hereafter with the power of Iman. What are you going to do? Imagine that scene, imagine that position and state that you'll be in. Where shaitan is coming to you saying to you, do not die on Islam. And you think that's your mother that you've been longing to see for a very long time. It's your father that you had utmost respect for. It's that sheikh that you used to follow. Don't die on Islam. We died on Islam when we found Islam to be the untrue religion. Big test. If there's no iman, my brother, in Islam, you're going to buckle. If you are weak in your iman, you are weak in your faith. And you befriended the shaitan all along your entire life, you're going to buckle. I'm sure you're going to buckle. And rather than you saying, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abdu rasulullah, you might end up saying, I don't believe in Allah, and I don't even believe in Muhammad. Where's your iman? Strengthen your iman right now. You need it then and there.